What is up YouTube? Calvin here with yet another walk around video. Today we got a super nice 2017 Mercedes E class. Um, this does have an AMG appearance package on it. So we're talking the AMG wheels. I think maybe something to do with the exhaust. It's an E300. I gotta tell you, I drove this thing to Southern Pines the other day. It is a blast to drive. So super classy. It's a super classy red color. Uh, and love it or hate it, I mean, I, th I feel like it's got a pretty cool interior color. Check this out. Just kidding, that door's locked. Let's walk around to this side. It does have a sunroof. Pretty cool looking interior. So the wood grain actually feels authentic. You could feel the grains. I don't know if it's uh, some sort of uh, special material they use or maybe it's like actually wood, I don't know. But yeah, super nice car. So it's got the, the brown interior. That is a super big screen. I couldn't even tell you how big that screen is. I mean, it's like a 14 inch wide screen. And then also you got your driver information sister uh, system here in between the two gauges. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's two track balls on the steering wheel. So this one will control that one. And you can actually like go back. There's a bunch of different uh, informations you can display up there. And then this one will control that screen. So let's go back. So you can individually set up your steering modes or there's a back button right here too. Well, so that's pretty cool. And then you can get to your phone, your radio, your navigation. Check this out. Boom. Big old navigation screen. You can zoom in and out. So if you're looking for I-95 Muscle, we're right here. Come see us. Um, here's your uh, the layout of your climate control. You got your little fancy clock, your radio media media buttons. Um, this does have the little turn knob uh, controller as well. So if I twist this, it zooms out and zooms in. It's kind of the same thing as the trackball. Um, some media controls. You can go back. All that good stuff. Uh, what you don't see, and it might be hard to catch on video is these little LEDs right here. You can't see them unless you're like under the dash looking for them. But man, does that give such a cool uh, ambient light. You can kind of see it here. And at nighttime, it looks amazing. The floor is kind of lit up red. And uh, well, let's get this little test drive underway. So let me go ahead and adjust the steering wheel here. Uh, with the eight speed, this thing does feel like it has tons of power. Um, I couldn't tell you how much horsepower this thing has, so check the description below. It might say something about it. And also, I really like the AC control knobs because if I twist that, that actually turns the blower off. There's no air coming out. If I twist that the other way, it's full air. So all of them do that. These two are controlled by this one. No more air. Air. And I feel like all cars should be like that. Um, you got your little cup holder, charging uh, phone port. This does have a NFC for pairing purposes, I believe, and wireless charging. And then also, I wasn't going to show you in here, so I did not get these papers out of the way. But there's also a little cubby here, and we got SD card and two SD port. I mean, uh, USB ports. And then the rear actually has some AC as well. This one's got a sunroof. Let's go ahead and drive this thing and check it out. So now to put this thing in drive, you just push this thing down. Boom. It's in drive. Let me show you the dynamic modes. So the dynamic modes on this car are going to change between eco and sport. So I think we're in eco right now. If I push the dynamic mode button up, that's comfort. One more. Orange, that's sport. I guess that might be a yellow. 
and then red is like full on race mode. But I did notice when I when I drove it the other day, I drove it like an hour. The uh, Sport Plus mode would just hold it in a higher RPM, so you'll notice it's not shifting. Now let me just go ahead and go to Sport. It went ahead and just upshifted. So Sport Plus is going to hold you in a gear a little bit longer uh, to to just have that sportier reaction and and not uh, not take so much time to downshift and go. Pretty cool. I feel like I ramble, talk a lot. Uh, does have memory seating, heated seats, and same thing on the other side. Memory and heated. Up here we got our lights, map reading light, some settings, a rear view mirror. Hopefully you guys didn't have to see me. And, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Let me show you the backup cameras. So in backup camera mode, you just use your little trackball and you scroll up. What was one camera is actually three cameras now and it's as wide as the whole screen. This car also has a feature where um, if you're driving looking for a parking spot, you could just be cruising along. Maybe you're in a busy city where it's hard to find uh, parking spots or there's traffic and you're trying to pay attention to everything. So you hit this little button right here, oh, the P camera, and that starts looking for parking spots. So let's see if we can try this out here. I don't think there's any spots available next to these cars, but let's see what this does. So I'm driving next to these cars here. Boom, look, it says there's an open parking spot right here next to this truck or I could back up into this parking spot let's see what it does here oh it was trying to put me between those two cars no thanks but you guys get the point how cool is that pretty cool technology and how do I get out of here This has been a super long video, but there's a whole lot on this car that I feel like needs to be talked about. So, um, what else we got here? Horn. Horn works. Uh, the system sounds amazing in this thing. I don't want to turn any music on and have YouTube get all upset about us playing YouTube music or something. So, I'm not going to do that. But you guys are welcome to come by for a sound demonstration if you're interested in making a purchase. Uh, those of you that aren't familiar with I-95 Muscle, this is the front of our store. You guys are welcome to come on by. And if you're looking for the spot, this is what it looks like. Showroom's full of cars. I think we got about close to 80 in there right now. To put it in park, you just push this little button right here. Boom. It's in park. And... Hop out, do one more little walk around, let you guys check it out again in all of its glory. And we thank you for watching. Again, if you, uh, if you like and subscribe, you can get updates as we get new inventory. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all the social medias. Everybody wave to the motorcyclist. <laughs> But yeah, this thing's super nice. So if you guys are in the market for a real nice Mercedes and you're not looking to spend 50 grand, this is the one. It's only got 30 something thousand miles. And again, I'm Calvin with I-95 Muscle. Thanks for watching our 10 minute long drawn out Mercedes walk around video.